Hello. So I wanted to talk to you guys because I wanted to share some things that I've learned. They're not all necessarily the greatest things. They're not all necessarily the best pieces of advice. But they're things I've learned and they're things I believe in and that have helped me. Um, the number one is just obvious. It's be yourself, be honest, be blunt, be there. Um, be present. But in all situations, I used to feel very strongly that you should be honest at all times, you should be blunt at all times, but you need to watch it a little bit in certain situations. So like, if you're trying to impress somebody, or if it was a new boss, or at a sales meeting, or um, lots of situations that were different, I felt like you had to be more careful in some situations, and you had to um, be less careful in other situations. And I've learned that that, that was wrong. I mean, like, yes, if I'm with somebody who's very sensitive or who has certain trauma or certain issues where they maybe couldn't handle a certain type of language or I don't think I'm the most crude person in the world, um, is I'm not. But, you know what I mean, just be respectful, basically, but don't tone down are for anybody. Now, if you're somebody bad, somebody physically abusive, somebody who's doing something that is really not good, I don't agree with that. But if it's things you believe in that aren't harming people, like I love my reptiles, my ball pythons saved my life in so many senses, so many ways. My uh, ferrets do a lot of good for me. My horses always have been amazing. If there's something that you believe in and if people are dogging on it or if people don't understand it, instead of backing down to that or shying away from the conversation, bring it up, talk about it, share it. Or if somebody doesn't understand or comes at you and says, Hey, I don't I didn't know you did this or I didn't I don't know what you're talking about or I never I've always been afraid of snakes, anything. Don't take that as an insult, take that as they really didn't know, and they could learn from you. You could be there, you know, you could meet people and teach people and bring this love of yours really out there. And you could bring it up to people in a way that they hadn't thought about. You could open up so many eyes and so many, you could really just open up the world to people in a way that they didn't know about teach them about animals, whether it be ball pythons or bearded dragons or ferrets, whatever it is, um, chinchillas, whatever you're into, you could really teach people why they've made your life better and why you love them so much, why they're so important to you. Um, instead of shying away and not talking about it because they obviously either think that they're not the greatest or are afraid of them or of some diversion to them, you could steer into the conversation and bring it up and explain to them why they're so important to you, what they mean to you, what you like about them, and just open that conversation. And really, you could make more people a part of the reptile community or love ferrets or whatever it may be. Uh, another thing that I found is I, especially when I was younger, which unfortunately I'm not anymore, but when I was younger I used to take people asking me genuine questions, and very recently actually I did that with a guy, and I'll admit um, I was going through something awful. It was when I had first gotten, first after I had gotten away from the person who was abusing me, and something bad had happened very recently after that had happened because I was dealing with people constantly, and I had very few things good in my life after that. And he had asked me, his name is Bill, he actually is in Madison, he works with reptiles, and I still don't love the way he handled the situation, I still don't think he's the greatest. I don't think he handled it the greatest, but I don't think he knew anything I was going through. And he asked me a question, and I was so upset because I had lost everything at that point. I had lost my dignity, I had been hurt, I had one of the only people I considered a friend left in my life, 
do something awful to me and it was so much worse than I had publicly said and this person asked me a question that was completely unrelated and it just seemed like such a nothing situation to ask about and I had felt so flustered already and so just taken aback and all I had was really my job, my reptiles and very few things I cared about and I felt so upset and so taken aback and I felt like he was just defensive and I've learned in life that a lot of times people are just curious and they care and just because you're going through something they might not actually know it and yes I think that it was obvious there was a lot of I let a lot of personal information out and a lot of people really should I don't want to say it, but like S-H-I-T on me for what I had said in that because I shouldn't have handled it the way that I did. A lot of people actually really like took what I said the other way and that's because they didn't look into the fore for forefront of it. They took it as it was somebody looking for pity, which I was just so upset by trying to talk to people that I cared about in the community and how this person sideways came at me. And I had it completely out of context taken, just the conversation. So none of what I had said at the beginning of it, none of it, just that part of the conversation cut out and then pasted about me. <laughs> and I just laughed at it. And other people were talked about in this post. It was a bunch of people. And I just untaked myself and ignored it because it happens about everybody. Brian Barczyk, who no matter if you love him or hate him, I have... God, I couldn't even tell you how many animals from him, and they've all been healthy and beautiful and wonderful, and he's got a passion every day he posts on YouTube on top of the animals that he has, and no, he's not the only one taking care of it, but look at everything Lori does, look, come on, like, if you love him, if you hate him, get over it, and yes, did he have some dirty tubs, yeah, but when you breed, anyone who knows, if you spot clean your ball python stuff, they're not going to lock up as good and he doesn't keep them. I would never, even in my breeders, I would never keep them in those conditions. But he learned, he changed, he knew what he can't put out. His place is immaculate. He works for every individual he cares. He loves what he does and I love him for it. I think that Brian's amazing and I think that he has places that he's a showman and I think that no one's perfect. I'm far from it and I shouldn't have said a lot of what I said in defense. Um, I also think that it was very public that I had just publicly finally went and had a SA kit done and reported the person who R worded me and was going through a lot and lost everything in my life and a friend did something awful after to take advantage of the situation and what I was going through and then this person came at me left field with questions and I just I took it wrong. And I think that's important that now that I've gone through all of this and now that I've been, do you know how many horrible questions they ask you? Please send uh, a district attorney and everything on a daily basis. And this has been over a year and a half now that I've been sitting here and I work seven days a week in my job and I'm a mom and I am a content creator and I do everything and I'm not a big content creator, but I try. Do you know how hard it is to be asked every day for months over and over and over again what happened how did it feel what injuries do you have do you mind pulling this pant leg up pulling that down so we can take a picture of it I mean you immediately feel attacked by nature but you know you're not because they're trying to help you that makes you realize that those little questions definitely weren't being attacked so then when you get other questions you instead of being defensive and saying like how why would you ask me that of course I know this of course I know that you know why would you think this or that you you get excited you're like yeah you know as a matter of fact this is why and you explain and you get excited to talk and my probably my negative now is that I get excited to talk too much and I'm like yeah I, I really you know instead of being like oh why would you ask me this about my animals I'm like this is where I studied this this is the first place I bought this animal 20 years ago and you know 22 years ago I started riding at this stable and it's like I get really excited because I don't take it as defense anymore and that's something I wish I knew even like I said as recently as gosh a year and a half almost two years ago 
Um, and I do as much as, like I said, I really, because it was in the middle of such an ugly situation, in the middle of an ugly conversation, the person interjected, I think that there was some incorrect there, because it was obviously such a terrible situation and a bad moment, but I do think the actual question completely separated from the situation, I did take wrong, because like I said, I was at such a low moment that I didn't want to live anymore. If I did not have my reptiles and my two daughters, I would have been done with life. And that's true. Um, and Midge, my Mustang, honestly, she helped. And now, just the animals that I have with PTSD help. They give my PTSD, I should say. Um, it's been a whirlwind adventure, and it's been amazing. And I just I question everybody to not be afraid to be their genuine selves, because that's a flippin' scary thing a lot of times. It's scary to, to a stranger say, yeah, you know, I'm sorry, I was quiet for a second there, like I was just thinking about, you know, I heard a car door slam, and it made me think about a time that the person who was abusing me for years, you know, would scream and slam and throw stuff. But if you're that open with strangers and somebody in a parking lot that slams a damn door, then you're going to be a lot better off in life because you're not going to have to hide anything. And when you don't have to hide anything at all, life gets a lot easier. And when life gets easier and you can just talk to anybody and you can be yourself and you can, you can not think that people are always attacking you, it's a lot better. And with some, as somebody who had PTSD and then got into an abusive situation and then ended up almost losing their life and getting R-worded and having irreversible damage for the rest of my life because of it, it was easy to think that people were going to attack you. And it wasn't something that, because I was very locked up and closed up about it, it wasn't something that people thought about. So it was just, oh, well, she's defensive. She doesn't want to talk. She's not open-minded. And I just secluded myself for a long time. And the people who knew me were like, oh, well, that's not you at all. What's going on? And they understood. And then the people who didn't know me would write me off or just not understand what was going on. And I actually started working a second part-time job, and those people were like, wow, this person's not at all what I would have thought. She's nice and has a good heart, but I was being secluded, so it was just the calm side of me. And once I started seeing that from an outside point, being a secluded person, just helping from a distance, once I started seeing how everyone would take everything everyone said wrong, and most of the time when from listening from a distance when the people would come back they would say you know wow I really didn't mean that I was just curious I thought that looked pretty I wondered where you got that or whatever it was so much easier to come back to life but I love you guys I will be back and I miss you I'm hoping to upload a lot more regularly so I'll see you soon